How's it going everyone? So today I want to talk about how to avoid loose skin during weight loss. So the number one problem that I always see people doing with the loose skin, the number one problem is that they simply lose weight way too quickly. What I mean by this is when you're losing weight, you need to give your body time to allow it to go back to contract so that you don't get a ton of loose skin. Now, if you're dropping weight four or five pounds a week, you're gonna get loose skin. That's how it happens, you guys. But if you do it more slowly, one to two pounds per week, then what happens is over time, your skin will contract a little bit more and it will make it not as loose, if you will. Now, I know some people are saying, well, if I lose this much weight, I'm gonna have loose skin. That is true. If you lose a substantial amount of weight, I'm talking over 100 pounds, then there is the chance that you will have some loose skin. But at the same time, you can minimize that by losing weight slowly. Very, very slowly, guys. None of this rapid shit where you starve yourself, you lose 10 pounds a week, you will look completely awful. Your skin will drag to the floor. It is not good, you guys. You need to lose weight slowly. Another thing that people do not talk about when losing weight and the loose skin is they don't talk about the foods that they are eating. The foods that you are eating, if they're gonna be high in micronutrients, good in macronutrients, very high in vitamins, minerals, etc., those are gonna really allow your skin to be better. Your skin will look better, it will be tighter. If you're eating complete crap, but you're still losing weight, then your skin's gonna look like shit. It's as simple as that, you guys. You need to be eating good foods, high nutrients, good vitamins, good minerals for overall health. This will help your body, you guys. Another thing too that people don't talk about is exfoliating your skin, you guys. Very important that you take care of your skin. You can even brush it and stuff. Um, there's lots of products at Walmart, Costco, stuff like that, that is good for skin health. So just think, don't think just because you're losing weight that that is enough. Take it to the next level. Uh, there's different oils, different um, saps, different minerals, different stuff that you can put on your skin for it to look better so it can contract better. Uh, when it contracts, when it gets tighter, in order to do this, you need to make sure that your skin is getting proper blood flow. That's why some of these um, products actually do improve blood flow to the skin. So added blood flow will actually help your skin get tighter. So look for products that really allow better blood flow, more contraction. Very simple, very easy, you guys. It's not hard. So if some of you are confused still, then what I can say to you is just lose weight very slowly. One to two pounds per week. Think of this as a fat loss journey. Don't try to do it quickly. Don't try to lose weight in three weeks, four weeks. Take it slowly, do it for a long period of time. Your body will thank you. The loose skin will be minimized, you guys. But again, if you are super overweight, over 100 pounds that needs to be lost or more, there is the possibility of a little bit of loose skin. But again, like I said, do it slowly and you will notice that that loose skin is very minimized. Another thing too I'd like to talk about is some people completely don't want to lose weight because they're worried about loose skin. I guarantee you, you lose that weight, guaranteed. You will not have nearly as much loose skin as you think. So many people think that they'll have just all this loose skin hanging there. Absolutely not. I've seen people lose 300 pounds and their the amount of loose skin they had was very minimal. So depending on your genetics, you might not have none at all. So give it a try. It can never hurt. End of video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share. Thanks for watching.